What's going on, YouTube? You already know what time it is. Your boy Juice Baby back in your chest again with another reaction video. You know what I mean? We finna see how these citizens react with the law enforcement. How we getting counted, man? How they keep on running down on us like this? And I'm, like, I'm just playing. You already know what it is. It's, it's. I'm on both sides. I'm on right. I'm on the side of right. So if the person right, and if they wrong. We gonna let it be known. You already know what time it is. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, man. And we finna get right into it. <clears throat> Welcome to Chronicles. We thank you for watching as we continue to react to law enforcement encounters. Please like and subscribe for more. And definitely comment with your opinions and reactions of your own. In this video, we visit the Batusai channel with one of the most egregious and blatant violations of rights we have seen. This interaction makes one question whether officers can truly be this ignorant of the laws they enforce. The officers in this video, in particular the supervisor, violated the rights of this auditor with absolute conviction and led the officers in his charge to do the same. Mr. Tripp, I'm with Austin Police. This is Officer Smith. How's it going? What's going on today? Can you talk or you just don't want to talk? reason we out on you is you cause kind of a scare up here, so we're trying to figure out what's going on. So you uh you videotaping for a reason or what's going on? Hello. You don't want to talk to us at all or <laughs> you just want to videotape? Videotaping us is fine. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. Hey, what did I be like? What, what's in the mind of a cop? Like, what you got to be a, a type of person? Because this is like, everybody cannot be a police. It's, it's typical people who who like to enforce law, or they like a majority of them really, really being bullied, or they were skinny. They worked out because that's what we grew up with. Like a lot of people who was they wanted their help because of they they parents probably was on drugs, you know, like. Put in the comment any officer I, I i know some officers i, I need to ask my wife uh co-workers like what you know made them be police because it's it's, it's a tedious job man we don't have this happen every day so okay let's go ahead and id this gentleman do you have an id on you at all sir listen we're trying to cooperate with you okay but you got to cooperate with us you can videotape all you want but you're, you're being suspicious right now. We're trying to figure out what's going on. So if you have an ID with you, that'd be fine. We'd love for you to give it to us so we can find out what's going on. Hey, sir. Am I doing anything illegal? Yes, based on... Uh, what's, what's, what, what's, what no, am I doing that's illegal? illegal but based on your suspicious activity, we're going to go ahead and ID you. If you have no warrants or anything like that, we're going to go ahead and wish you a, a good day, and we're going to be on our way. Am okay? I under arrest? No, you're not under arrest, but you are being detained. There's no two ways about it. All right, well, if I'm being detained, y'all can go ahead and do your investigation, but I'm just going to stay here and That's fine. exercise my Fifth Amendment right. Just sit here, and if I'm not doing anything wrong, then there's no reason you're, for you to be here. We're going to go ahead and ID you one way or the other. It's up to you. How what do you mean, one way or the other? Pardon me? What do you mean, one way or the other? One way or the other, if we have to take you downtown and fingerprint you, we'll do that. You're being detained for investigative purposes right now. Believe me, I know the law better than you. So you can film all you want. You can set it up however you want. We're going to ID you, but until we do that, you're not free to go. Texas is not a stop and ID state, is it? Guys, um, go ahead and frisk this gentleman. Make sure that he doesn't have any weapons on him. I have no and weapons then, and I do not consent to searches. Frisk him, like I said, make sure he has no weapons on him. I don't consent and to searches. Can either, he can either provide us his information. So, so for those who do know, you have to be doing a crime. Uh, 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 at least he thinks you're doing a crime, right? And then. He have to address that crime when he approach you, right? That's what I feel. What y'all think? Shouldn't willingly, or we can do it through the ID section downtown. What did I do? You have Under you what all? gives you the authority to do that? Go ahead and get this done, guys. I'm not going to argue with this guy. You're violating my Fourth Amendment. You know that, right? Stand up. You do stand what up you need us. to do, and we'll do what we need to do, buddy. 
Do you have anything on you that we need to know about? Knives, guns, I weapons? Have no, I have nothing. I'm just holding okay. hands on you, you can put your hands back behind you. Can you can put the camera down and film us while we're doing this if you want to. Am I under arrest? That's what I'm asking. You're being detained. During the detention, you can be frisked for safety. If you won't put it down, handcuff him. Here, I'll put my hands right here. Is that fine? If you won't do it willingly, hand put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back for us. There put your hands go. behind your back. Come back here. There you go. You're not being handcuffed. I know right you're now. used to this going being... one way based on the YouTube education you've gotten, but that's not how we do it. Okay, we're going to do this according to our policy and according to law. Public area, sir. Okay, that's fine. Cell phone. Yep. You have a wallet on you? An ID at all? I'm not answering any more questions unless I'm being arrested. You're being detained, which means. Okay. You. If he has an ID, we have every have right to. We have, we have every right to look at it. It's not an issue, guys. Yeah. Come on, back with you. Yeah. yeah. Set it right here so it doesn't interfere with your camera, okay? You're, you're filming this, and so are we. So let's. We have two separate angles. You're All good right. to go. Relax. Am I good? You don't have an ID on you, so what's your? Let me get the pen and paper here. You from Austin originally? Can I answer any questions? When you're stopped and for by reasonable suspicion by peace officers in the can state I, of can Texas, I have a sit here? no, you can stand there for a second until we're finished. Of what? When you're stopped by police officers in the state of Texas for reasonable suspicion, you're required to give minimal identifying information. That <clears throat> See how they vague with the information? He say reasonable suspicion. Of what? You still ain't telling me of what? We need somebody to answer that. Y'all just can't use those vague words and then expect somebody to respect y'all, bro. That being your name and your date of birth. So we'll start there. Well, what kind of call is that? I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just asking. If he doesn't want to do it, go ahead and put him in handcuffs and we can do it until we find him on the system. That's right. the way it goes. Suspicious people, suspicious places, so suspicious circumstances. The Code of Criminal Procedure gives us that authority. I've been doing this a lot longer than you've been doing that. So you I mean, can, we can go one way or the other. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to get in a debate with you. I know that this is this makes great fodder on YouTube. I know that it's one. So we see his angle. and It's not even really about him actually doing nothing. <laughs> It's about what he's doing. <laughs> Wonderful to post your videos, and it seems like, oh my God, the sky's crashing down, big brother and all that, but we're simply trying to do our job. Yeah, we're going to do that down. with or without your cooperation. Yeah, your At this point, the supervising officer has made many statements about law mm -hmm. and his knowledge of it. The fact that he mentions YouTube tells me he is aware of the auditing community, and yet he has continued to allow his ego to blind him to what those videos show. <laughs> Law enforcement officers seem to make up their mind in their favor That's and what, stick yeah. with that no matter what. what Most people, when choosing a career, find pride in learning all they can about their trade. Law enforcement officers, even as moving up in rank, seem content in being ignorant to the laws they enforce and the rights of those that have entrusted them with that responsibility. I know that this is this makes great fodder on YouTube. I know that it's wonderful to post your videos and it seems like, oh my God, the sky's crashing down, big brother and all that, but we're simply trying to do our jobs. We're going to do that with or without your cooperation. So how we proceed from here is 100% up to you. How do you want to do it? Am I doing anything wrong? I just a question. It's just a question. Set that down? Yeah. I know this isn't going now the way you're violating you thought my it was first gonna amendment go. right I here. No, it's not the way you thought it was going to go. This is not how it's supposed to go. Okay, don't fight. You can this. either put the camera down or we'll take it from you. Now, uh, you want me to make sure it's filming? I'll I'll, I'll fix the 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 screen so you can see. Does that work for you? I noticed you didn't want to talk or answer questions unless it was asking questions of us. I found that to be a special. Well, you're, you're arresting me, right? No, you're not under arrest. You're being detained. Being detained. Okay. Investigatively right. detained. When if I you'd like, I can yourself. explain the difference to you. Texas is not a stop in that D state. Okay, thanks for telling me the law. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen. We're going to detain you until we have been able to properly identify you. Okay. If we're able to properly identify you and there's no warrants or any other reason to hold you, we'll cut you loose, as is our prerogative. Ooh. As is held by the state of Texas law, the United States Constitution, and by the way, Austin Police Department policy and procedures. Now, how we proceed, again, I'm going to put it to you. It's up to you. You can either willingly give us your name and date of birth, or you can continue to take this stand that you're taking, which 
will do you no good other than delaying your freedom to go. So tell me again, do you want to give us your name and date of birth, or do you want us to detain you further until we can specifically identify you and make sure that there is nothing more to this than what meets the eye? Am I under arrest? You are being detained. Okay. I've said it again. I, if you want me to get closer to the camera so I could say it into the speaker, I'll do that. However, I think it's been made clear to you that you're being detained for investigative purposes. You will not be released until we can positively identify you. Does that sound like it's clear now? Whether you agree with it or not, are you understanding what I'm saying to you? You should be familiar with Penal Code 3802. You should be familiar with that. I appreciate you telling me what I should and should not do. Okay. But here's but what I was going to do. Going to Have him that. sit in the back of the car told you you and let's go ahead and figure out who he is. Once we do that, we'll go from there. Step over here. Here, take his camera. Make sure he keeps that with him. Can I hold on to it or no? No. No, we're going to go ahead and hold on to it. It's still filming. This yeah, car is you'll filming. you'll be filmed in the car as well. Okay. No, we're gonna keep you. We're gonna put you in air conditioned company. No, actually, you're, you're actually dictating how we treat you at this point. If you would like to leave, just tell us your name, date of birth. We'll make sure that you don't have any wants or warrants. We'll make sure that there's no other suspicious activity you need to investigate, and you'll be free to go. If you want to play this out and make a statement, you can go ahead and do that. It's just going to delay you being able to leave freely. All right, there we go. All those that do not agree with this activity, remember the man in handcuffs being put in the police car has not broken a law. Secondly, those that would say, just give them your info. I ask this, why exactly do they want the info? His For sure. well, first you gotta break the law. Name and date of birth will not tell them what he is doing there with the camera, which is the catalyst to this whole interaction. It has become a battle of egos. However, the citizen is firmly within his rights. Once again, I have to ask those who criticize, why do we have these rights if not to invoke them? Why did the founders feel the Constitution was such an important document, as do all contemporary Americans, if at the request of another individual one should just set it aside? You take me down? Bravo, officer. Bravo. Bravo. You just answered a trivial question. You're trying to get me to arrest you for no reason. <laughs> he let you know there ain't no reason for this man to be sitting in the car. Because what charge? What is the charge? No charge. So go ahead. Keep doing your thing, boss, man. They wasting their time. You already on your job. They only must know it. <laughs> Hey, there's a difference between being detained and being under arrest. But the detention is the yield to the investigation. Well, y'all can investigate. I'm just and using my Fifth Amendment right to be not, quiet. But you're not helping us out with this at all. I have the right to use my Fifth Amendment right now. Okay. Y'all didn't state any crime that I broke, but I'm in handcuffs. But you do understand the detention. What, is it? what do you understand as the detention? You guys are just holding me, but you got me in handcuffs. So I was if, perfectly fine if right you there. Know all, if 
You know everything that you're supposed to know about the law. Give me the give me the, the law on detention. You can you can hold me for whatever. Yeah, but 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 look how ironic that is. He was asking them questions and they wouldn't answer his. But then he wanted to go ahead and give him a a, a quiz. Like, come on, bro, pop that. But you have to have, I suspect you're committing a crime. No. No? No. What's your badge, what's your name and badge number? My name is Officer Smith. My badge number is 6981. Uh, suspicion. What's your badge number and name, sir? 6173. What's your name? I can't hear you, sir. I'm sorry? I can't hear you. What's your name, sir, and badge number? Yes, sir. Trip. Four, and it's going to be four, on a report. Seven, so if you need to get a report number two, you can get all our names and numbers on a report. So what the you're report going to We're not trying to do anything to you. Right. Not trying what to report you going to write up? What is going to say? Sir, listen. Wasting if somebody's paper. walking around your house, even in your house, and you think they're suspicious because they don't, they, they're doing something suspicious. Look at the scenario he gave. The person was actually doing something, peeping in someone's house. What is bro doing, bro? What is he doing that's suspicious? He's peeking in cars. What are he doing? Filming women? Like, what are he doing? Suspicious, bro. You just said it. You gave a scenario. But in his situation, you wouldn't even must tell him what he's doing. But you're going to waste your bro making up something. Come on, man. Let this man know what he did wrong. Ain't nobody peeking in nobody's windows, man. Would that raise an eyebrow for you? If they're on public property, would no, don't don't even go there. It is. If was I not on public property? If somebody's staring at your house. Was I not on public so, property? It that. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If somebody's staring at your house, you're gonna call a PD to come and check on to see what that person's doing. No. The person sitting in front of your house staring through your window. Am I right? No. You're not. I'll be I'll be I'll 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 be armed. But in that case, if I were to call the police, you guys will probably be too late. Really? Yes. Possibly. You probably walk off. But what if you weren't late? Suspicious person, suspicious activities. Tell me about that law. You can sit there and ask me questions all you want well, to. You're telling me you know the law here and there. I'm just trying to figure out if you know exactly what's going on. Well, I'm just going to sit Rats. here until y'all finish what y'all doing. That's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Suspicious activity? Are you telling me? That does not override the Fourth Amendment. Are you, are you, are you sure about that? I'm positive. How are you positive? Positive. Well, let me tell you this. I don't know you from anybody else that I'm standing around here with in this parking lot. And with the suspicious activity that you were doing, I don't know if you're trying to do something to the building or if you have some kind of a, a mental ailment that we need to address or get addressed or some kind of... Uh, medical issue that needs to be addressed so in order to figure that out if you're not cooperating with us we have to do our best and like my, uh, my sergeant officer said we have policy agents why would i cooperate with someone who's treating me like a criminal if even though i didn't do anything wrong why would i cooperate with someone who's treating me like a criminal even though y'all told me i didn't do anything wrong you're being suspicious what's being suspicious. what's suspicious of your video taken in the area of so being in a Sonic parking lot is suspicious? No, you were not in a Sonic parking lot. This, this right here. Oh, okay, on the sidewalk in front of the station. That's if completely we, suspicious. If anybody calls in and says, hey, this is weird, we have to investigate. From on the because sidewalk? it's not something that people normally do. That's what makes it suspicious. If a person driving by here says, look, that looks suspicious. Yeah, we, we in 2024, bro, everybody pulling out their cameras, doing TikToks just popping up in the middle of the street man I, I was just riding buddy i just seen somebody just on the side of the street with the camera just going like <laughs> people doing what they want so stop it bro stop it that's suspicious activity that's all right y'all y'all just figure out what y'all have to do i'll sit here and wait that's fine hey you mind loosening these up these are kind of hurting my wrists right now they're on as by policy. I, I, I understand that, but can you loosen them up? They're like really hurting my wrist. They're on as by policy. Can you loosen them up? Lean forward. And I, I made I got a seat. The seat's required. I got a seatbelt holding me back, so I can't really lean forward. Push yourself up. Operate. But that's that's not helping. 
guess in ghosting zone, it's our own bout of power. Right. That's what I'm doing, just like we're supposed to be. I, I understand power. that, but I'm asking you, can you loosen them? They're really tight. Oh, sir. Ow. I don't know your intentions. You haven't told me any of your intentions. You don't want to talk to us, so I don't know what your intentions are. So I'm not about to put myself in a safety situation by allowing you to get loose in here. Well, you got a gun, taser, pepper spray. I don't think it's my gun. I've well, been doing you, this for way too long. Well, can you get another officer to do it? Because these are really tight. They're not tight. I put my fingers in them just like I was supposed to. Make sure you had enough room between your wrists. They're just in the position that you have your hands. Making it work. Yeah. Well, my the back. Hey, hey, ask him what crime he's charged me with. Two thousand years later. <laughs> okay, sir. All right, I just want to, I just want to ask you one more time. Your name and your date of birth. Will you please give us that? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to document this entire stop in a report. It's also documented on our digital uh, mobile audio video. I'm quite aware that you have it documented on your personal camera. We're going to write a report. We're happy to give you the case number. If you'd like to buy a copy of the report, it'll be available to you at any police facility or online for that matter. We're then going to release you from the scene. Uh, you're not you're not going to cooperate with us. We're going to have to put you down on our report as unknown or John Doe, whatever you choose, whatever you prefer. And from there, you'll be you'll be cut loose. I would caution you when you find yourself in a position where you're filming a government installation like a police station, you're filming people's plates, you're filming cars. Put yourself in a position where if somebody makes a complaint against you for doing that, it becomes a different situation. It can become a criminal offense if they feel like you're stealing any kind of identifying information. Us, we can take pictures of our police car all day long and document on video and everything else, fully, uh, license plates and everything else, because those are a matter of public record. Now, you're absolutely 100% correct. You're not, you're not in violation of failure to ID laws. That was never the point. The point is the police have a reasonable right to stop you based on the code of criminal procedure when we find you to be a suspicious person in a suspicious place under suspicious circumstances. In this case, we have two of those. It was suspicious seeing you outside filming our installation and the plates and the cars and the people coming in and out of the building. And that was a suspicious circumstance based on that. That's why you were stopped. That's why you were ID'd. We could not ID you. We placed you in handcuffs for officer safety. We placed you in the car. We could never come to an agreement on getting your ID. So at this point, there's not much we can really do. We're going to have to part ways and go on with our lives. Uh, again, you're more than welcome to any kind of documentation. You can discuss this with uh, anybody else you would like to. If you want to complain at it for anything, that's certainly available to you. And there's plenty of documentation, so the uh, record will stand as it is. Do you have any questions for me? Let me go. No I'm free. You will, you will be free in just one minute after we take the handcuffs off. Excellent. Fair enough? All right, very good. Thank you. He cuffs too tight. Can you take them off? Don't loosen them up. Could you take them off? Thank you. Ooh, I was in the car with bros. <laughs> At the conclusion of this encounter, the same supervising officer that spoke so confidently of the law and how it was in his favor returned to release the citizen. I guess it did not go how he thought it would, huh? When he returned. He tried to still speak with authority, admitting the citizen was correct about the ID laws, and stated it was never about that. This is laughable. He attempts to save face with that little speech about officer safety and whatnot. But anybody with a little intelligence can see he called legal, or someone with actual knowledge and was shut down. Unfortunately, accountability is not prevalent within law enforcement, but I hope if the spotlight remains on them, it may soon be. Thanks for watching. For sure. Please subscribe, that like, beautiful. and comment.
back. <laughs> you already know, man. Whoa, man, that was exciting right there, man. It's, they getting even better and better, man. You already know what time it is. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, man. And I'll be right back at y'all with another one, man. Game. Yeah.